15 News. Christina, thank you. More challenges for the city of Pritchard as they meet after Council President Erling Martin Harris resigned. We told you earlier today a group is now calling for Martin Harris to pay back her $7,500 a year salary. Martin Harris resigned last month after our investigation found she spent much of her time outside her district in Daphne and the district attorney's office sought to remove her from office. Oh, we're going to push this. Oh, yes, because we got to send a strong message. She quit moments before her residency trial was set to begin, so it was never proven in court of law that Martin Harris lived outside her district. Local 15's Derek Rose was at tonight's city council meeting. Derek, tonight residents are facing a new burden, and they're asking questions about a critical vote last fall. Yeah, Kim, this new challenge is actually aimed at uh, public safety, and all of these problems are coming at a time when this city can least afford them. When Jerry Spezial became chief of police in Pritchard, it was because four council members voted in favor of his appointment. But now, nearly eight months later, one of those votes is being challenged. It's the vote by former council president Erlene Martin-Harris, who resigned her seat last month just before a trial was set to begin, challenging her residency. The new challenge is coming from the United Concerned Citizens of Pritchard. If she uh, was not supposed to be there, then that raised a question in our minds as citizens. The city council tonight unanimously accepted Martin Harris's resignation, then announced a special election. Councilman Derek Griffin estimates that will cost the already cash-strapped city thirty to forty thousand dollars. It would pretty much put the city at um, a halt with as far as finances having to afford to uh, put on a special election. That's a burden for the people. You see, that money is coming out of our pockets. Yes, it is a concern. Tonight, we're already seeing interest in the position. Paula Blevins finished two spots behind Martin Harris in the last election for that seat. Now she's the first one to announce she's running again. I live in the community, and I see the need continuously of what we have here. Part of it was surprised that she resigned. The other part had been rumors in the community for a while, but no one had stepped up to say or do anything about it. And Chief Spezial, the issue about Chief Spezial's appointment could become one that is simply handled in courts, a legal issue primarily because his contract is already signed. He's been on the job for eight months. As for that open seat, you heard from one of the challengers. We tried to reach Gwen Williams, who finished second behind Martin Harris in a narrow edge uh, during that October 2012 vote. We could not reach her for comment. Meanwhile, Molly Collins, who ran in that race as well, she said today that she will not run again. Mayor Troy Ephraim is expected tomorrow to announce the special election officially to be on August 26th. Live tonight in Pritchard, I'm Derek Rose, Local 15 News. Derek, thank you. It's been two weeks since Charles...